Hello folks, do you remember the snail, gliding over the road, risking his life, to reach the shamrocks in the fields in front of him? Do you have any clue, how his body undulates as it moves? Right, start thinking on it. Think about Mugizu as an onion, is it possible that it can work in layers, that can be peeled one by one, so we can produce much better videos? Yes, of course. All we can get from Mugizu when you try to animate a snail, is at maximum this. Well, it looks more like a kangaroo snail. What can you do about it? It's time to start peeling your scene. Open layers window. If the snail is on the same layer as all other objects, create a new layer, and assign the snail alone to this layer. Select visible, rendered and separate shadows in layers window. Confirm that the snail is part of the new layer. Then, animate the camera across the road. One keyframe at the beginning, another at the end. This is all you need to animate the snail crossing the road. Now, go to Snail Body Properties, and turn it invisible. Render your scene. In Advanced tab, choose Image Sequence. Keep both layers selected for output. Choose a folder to store image sequence or create it. Two folders are automatically created within the chosen folder, one for color and one for shadows. Within these folders you'll have all image sequence pictures. In the next step, camera animation is removed, and a new image sequence video is obtained, with the snail stopped. The snail can turn the head and the eyes, as if it was walking normally but it does not move. This will be done later, out of Mugizu. In the same way, two folders containing snail color and shadows, are also created. The final animation, takes place inside the After Effects, where the various layers will interact. Here, the sequence of images is worked with filters, that will give the snail its typical walk. A mesh warp filter is applied, to deform snail big foot, and a mask, to restrict that deformation to the snail base. The warp effect is keyframed to simulate it a cyclic walking. Then, the snail is put over the background color in shadows. Because snail shadow, moves with it, a new shadow, is created inside After Effects itself. Finally, small adjustments are introduced, in order to perfectly synchronize the movement of the snail, over the road background.
the process ended. Path could seems very hard. But my friends, it gave me a great pleasure, because I simply succeeded. Hope you succeed too. Bye bye and see you soon.